I hope this finishes fast though because I might have to go. This took way, way, way longer than it should take. But anyways. So is Mediterranean. We have uh, we have SK, kind of the lower part of the map. Uh, we have uh, Metallo on the left flank uh, playing as Zeus. He goes for the dock right away and doing the usual thing. He's going to shift these villagers into food right now, I think. Uh, does he? I'm getting the dock right now. Yeah, okay. This is how I, I thought he, he would do, but apparently, yeah, he, right now he switched. We have Forbidden Voices, aka Scatty, playing as Hades in the middle of, his, of the uh, SK lineup, and we have Gold Lion playing as Uranus on the right flank of SK. So basically, uh, we have Uranus Mirror on this side versus Gold Lion versus More Champion. Same, same. Uh, uh, same guys facing each other like in the previous game and in that case in, in the other game gold line had the upper hand and really under uh, over per over uh, outplayed sorry outplayed more champion with the help of of uh, metallo of course we have Mikkei playing as Uranus as a middle player of sisu and we have zodiac playing a set uh, on the left flank so let's see if they opt for some kind of some kind of uh, uh, some kind of a special uh, strategy or something, some kind of surprise for SK, but uh, that will be seen in the coming two or three minutes. So we see Gold Lion, yeah, already uh, he's going to have some idle time on the TC, or no, actually, no, mm, yeah, he just managed to build the manor in time, so he has he is. He has the usual building the usual way. Um, he got a bit of idle time on the TC because of food shortage, but otherwise it's pretty fine. Uh, this map is going to favor, of course, SK because of their lineup, because they have double Greek, uh, Hades and the Zeus, who have double restoration, or going to have, I suppose. Uh, I don't think. Maybe Hades can advance through uh, Ares, Ares and. Um, that pestilence might be a, a good, might do some damage, might do, might play some role in this water map. Uh, but otherwise, I suppose they are going to advance through Athena, both of them, and the double restoration is going to be a huge bonus on the on the water fight. Um, otherwise, this is pretty usual. Yeah, pretty usual. Mike is a bit behind, I think. Yeah, he is a bit behind. Um, in terms of the um, villager training time, and he's going to advance a bit later, I suppose. Usually at this point, you already train your last villager before last citizen before advance, so that you advance. At 4, uh, 3.30 you start advancing, that's the perfect, of course, advance, but that's very hard to achieve. Achievable, pretty much, but uh, hard. Um, so none of them is going to have that, I think. It's going to be up at that time. Uh, but something like 435 is, or 440 maybe is not bad as well, not bad. Uh, let's see how it goes. The early advance can actually play a role, especially on this side, the Uranus mirror. Uh, but it's pretty much the same as you see. Um, idle time, yeah, right now he advanced. More has a bit more idle time over here. Yeah, he's up. Um, I don't know what. Okay, Zodiac's priest was um, idle for a moment, but he has amassed a good amount of uh, good amount of animals. Two battle boars and oh, sorry, boars. <laughs> no battle boars and, and an orok. I think he's going to do some shifting shenanigans because he doesn't he, he hasn't used his uh, he hasn't used his um, vision as well uh, I th um, I'm not sure who is going to fuse that on but so might be a good idea to use it on gold lion but 
be a huge bonus to more champion in his mirror against him. Um, and this might be a, actually a good location to cast it. Um, this tower is closed, but he might he might actually block it. Okay, he's now getting a house there. Three, four, thirty-seven. That's pretty nice. And Zodiac. Oh, he is a bit late. That's usual for Egyptian though. But oh, Metal already has a couple of triremes out, and uh, Zodiac just have the, has this one dock up, so it's going to be. Uh, I don't think this is th uh, the way you do it as Egyptian on a water map. Like, if he catches this villager, it's going to be very hard. Oh, actually, he, he will manage. Oh, yeah, he managed to build the second dock, but usually at this stage, Egyptians usually have like three or even four dogs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if this is the correct way to play it, but now we have the. the oh no, actually, we don't have the vision. Is he going to cast it? Yeah, he is going to cast it on Metallo. And let's see what he achieves with that. Um, good micro by Metallo. He's going to lose this one. Nothing. Oh, this is a good shifting sense. Okay, not bad. At least Pharaoh is bolted, but he lost one villager. And of course, the idle time. You have to consider the idle time. Might actually lose this one, but no, he micros it correctly. Right now, Zodia can sit on Metallo's gold, gold mine. Because pretty much, okay, he's getting his JSON up, but this again resulted in some idle time. Um, this is a double right now. Okay, no, um, Scott is joining the scene. And this all this water fight is about micro. But let's see if Zodiac manages to... Um, Repel this attack from repel this attack from Metallo on water. Right now he's not doing bad on land. This shifting sands did some damage to Metallo, cost it some idle time. And this villager is still idle, by the way, and that's very good. And he's amassing uh, cabinets in, inside his docks. Um, as an, oh, actually, as pickaxe. Uh, is he housed? Yeah, man, he's housed. That's bad. And this is a uh, the the the. Sentinels are casted on Gold Lion's TC, so uh, these units won't do any damage to Gold Lion. He's going to lose them for nothing, actually. Yeah, Mike is not attentive with his villagers. Uh, this Mike is pretty good player, but uh, his problem, I think, is that he doesn't watch. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't pay enough attention to his units. He loses them for nothing very often. Uh, first. First, uh, uh, first restoration casted, and that was not a bad one actually. Uh, the, all these ships have full HP right now. Oh, actually, Zodiac managed to repel uh, Scary, uh, sorry, Metallo's water push by cabinets of his own. And right now he is behind in terms of points, though. But I don't know what's okay. He lost one dock over here. He urgently needs to get the second one. Over here we see a triple. Three, three Brazilian players over here. SK, all, all SK ran. We're going to see the second restoration, I'm sure. Yeah, here it is. So this is a very bad fight for SK, for sorry, for CISO to take at this moment. But they actually stood there and took the fight. I don't think that was a good idea, but anyways, in case having a pretty good amount of BRMs. Uh, let's see the. This uh, military count more is pretty good, doing pretty good. Um, yeah, Zodiac is kind of falling behind, and that's the reason he is he is behind in terms of points. Scuddy also pretty good in terms of the kill death ratio. Alright, uh, on this side, actually Metallo is having, oh sorry, uh, Zodiac is having the upper hand against Metallo right now. He's still training, yeah, he's still training, uh, training cabinets, but, uh, sorry, uh, three, three rams, but he's going to lose them if he's uncareful. And he is actually uncareful, but Zodiac needs to micro this as well. Mike is actually doing pretty well. I think he's three, yeah, three dogs. I, 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 I uh, predicted that, uh, I thought that he's having three dogs, but this is, yeah, he has to retreat because it's two players over here. 
more is, has he stopped it no he hasn't uh, why is he not getting okay he has pickaxe and hand axe pretty well um, more uh, Mickey also has hand axe very good um, I thought uh, yeah I think at this point uh, the water fight looks pretty even uh, Mickey has a lot of experience so it's not lost for uh, Sisu at this point and I think um, Zodiac is having Zodiac is having the upper hand against Metallo kinda the upper hand because yeah he is low in terms of points but I think he will win this fight if it takes place he's he has three dogs oh, he's training only from one though but yeah this kind of things really harm them because th this lack of micro as a result of it they are losing a lot of ships Sisu and right here we see that they are getting out microed as well but actually um, uh, I think the amount of boats the amount of BRMs from Sisu decided this battle they are actually winning it uh, the fact that more, oh yeah, more is training from three as well. Let's check for Gold Lion. He is training only from two, as it seems. Yeah, that's that's the, where the difference comes from. It's just two two uh, dogs for Gold Lion, and that's the reason they are losing. Actually, Zodiac is back fully on Water versus Metallo. Um, this is lo this looks pretty even. Um, does any one of them have a uh, press sign? No, no, no one so far. Forbidden voice is not as well. No, no one has it. No one has it, but we see Metallo taking second TC, Ascari taking second TC, and Goldline already having taken his second TC, but same goes for more champion, goes for Mike, and Zodiac is the only one who doesn't, um, who actually doesn't, isn't going for the second TC at the moment. Oh, getting out micro again, Zodiac. Come on, dude. Metallo is just just keeping the balance thanks to his micro. But right here, I think um, SK is losing the water on this side. Uh, they are losing actually water and Pandax Pickaxe. Let's check for gold line. He doesn't have anything and he's not getting anything. This is this can really be the difference, you know. Sisu playing this pretty well and the, the gut composition of SK really doesn't like it. Really didn't decide the battle right here. And right now, Metallo is I don't know why Metallo is doing this, he's just running into ships of running into the ships of Sisu and he's going to lose all of them actually Metallo is on 3 TC's right now having hand axe and pickaxe um, I think they abandoned water or no not yet not yet but yeah Goldland did abandon it but uh, actually Skadi and Metallo are still investing in water, water. <clears throat> getting the first military buildings counter barracks and barracks up 3rd TC for more champion yeah this is where they have to keep their tempo on uh, I mean when you win water you usually have a lot of extra pop and it's uh, very hard to invest into army and you also have to not to forget to take TC's like when you, you when you lose water the usual thing that comes into your mind is just to take TC as fast as possible and that's what SK did right here but uh, mm, Fortunately enough for Sisu, they didn't. They, they they did that as well. I mean, they um, <clears throat> they followed it up with TCs of their own. Right now, we see Zodiac up through Neftis, but he's sitting on one TC, which is kind of bad. Uh, although he's having the kind of having the upper hand. Uh, I think it's in terms of military count. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, we see that Metal lost a lot more units and also in the terms of resources we see that at first Zodiac was behind but right now he is <clears throat> actually even uh, he is even he has an even better economy and as we see Sisu just one water this is pretty good but right here Goldline's raid on, Mickey, on Moore's villagers 
Oh man, he lost four of them. This kind of things can decide the game, dude. What the hell? He's going to lose more if he's not attentive, but right here they're trying to trying to make Goldan pay for that. Um, Cancelling this TC, they might get this villager if they're careful, actually. And Moor is actually thinking of taking this TC of Goldan and stealing it. Uh, he lost one more villager, this is already too much for Moor, I think. Yeah, you see, he lost like four or five citizens right here. And he has some idle ones. Um, they still have a lot of fi uh, ships on the water. But as we see, Scotty didn't give up water himself. He has one idle boat here. <clears throat> Metello did give up water and he's going to lose these fishing ships if, if, if he's not careful and if Scuddy micros it correctly. Uh, Zodiac goes for the second TC as well. <clears throat> he's the only one sitting on just one TC but this aggressive Migdol man, this is really good and the, and the war barge is exactly what he needs in this situation. I'm sure Metello is kinda short on resources at this point. <clears throat> because he took 3 TCS and he needs some time to boom without water, of course, that's pretty hard. We see that he's deprived of water over here. Gold land, trying to raid, trying to achieve something with it. And he was pretty good, pre pretty successful so far. He c captured some 5 citizens from more. He's c he can c capture these ones as well. Otherwise, yeah, I think this game looks pretty much in favor of Sisu right now. Let's see how they perform. Yeah, five wills so far. Gold line through heroic age, Scuddy through heroic age. Well, late game uh, might also be a decisive factor if if um, SK players manage to advance to mythic, of course. Uh, like Metallo, for instance. I think this is too much. This ships. He needs to delete some of them because it's already too much. He's taking 30 C though, and I like this aggressive Migdol. He's gathering elephants in it. And he's definitely going to take down this TC with the war barges. Um, yeah, Skadi actually losing his ships over here. Mikkei, we see that Mikkei is doing pretty good. This is again too much, I think. He can delete some of that. This palace is pretty good. It secures the town center. Actually, right now, more champion is on 4 TCs. I think he needs to get to heroic and get trade as fast as possible. We see gold line through Hecate. <clears throat> he's more in... no, he actually isn't even in Heroic, but Mikkei is in Heroic. We're going to see Tartarian Gate soon, which is going to be casted on more, I suppose. He's the one whose eco is worse, kind of worse. And Gold Lion utilizing, like, taking advantage of the fact that he <clears throat> is sitting on two TCs, he hasn't spent resources on the third one. Like... It, it enabled him to advance to Mythic earlier. He is still raiding over here, which is pretty good. He needs to get fortified TC, which he does actually very well. This um, Cherubalista placement is very good, but um, <clears throat> actually SK don't have any um, units that can be like vulnerable to these Cherubalistas. Maybe this uh, archers, but this these horses, these hippicons are really. Uh, immune, kind of immune to those Kyroballistas and they kill them like in 3 or 4 shots which is very bad uh, we know that Kyroballistas are pretty um, expensive so it's going to have some impact. Right here we see Zodiac having the upper hand against Metallo he is kind of going for the building spam right now how about his resources, he's actually having a lot of gold he can take this 4th TC which can justify the existence of this amount of boats he needs to get rid of this dock real fast <clears throat> and we see the we see the uh, Tartarian gate casted by gold lion and the, they're also trying to push over here oh man it's 10 Prometheans if these Prometheans were over here that might actually kill the they will, would actually kill the Tartarian gate pretty fast as we know they have the bonus damage against buildings but Zodiac really needs to take this TC right now in order to kind of secure his upper hand, secure his advantage against Metallo. I like how Sisu is playing this game. We see the the uh, second Tartarian Gate. 
uh, from Mikhail being casted on Skadi and this I don't know why they, he keeps the ships over here they are just attacking this beast and pretty much doing nothing he can deprive Skadi of water if he if he if he is careful enough um, um, Zodiac is going to take his fourth PC right now these raids are constantly annoying more his civilian count you see man this is this is really huge he lost like seven or eight citizens at the time so, but over here he has pulled down has five birds they are not very efficient against these buildings though but he is not microing them correctly maybe he can sneak them over here and kill the, some villagers raid with those birds mm. that might cost cause him to lose the front battle though so it's a bit um, um, doubtful uh, this amount of siege towers <laughs> you can just they just yeah you see them firing all these arrows into the Toxo key but he's not going to stop this TC, 4th TC of Zodiac going up. And Zodiac really needs to start trade Ace up. No. He has Shaftman, but I think that's not enough. This um, Turing Gate is dead, um, but this one is pretty un unfortunate for Mike. These Tartarian Beasts are taking the caravans instead of the TC. Which is not bad as well, but ideally you would like to you would like them to destroy the TC first, then attack the, the caravans. Ships attacking the gate, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, this is SK's home map. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Uh, Shelby, good point. <laughs> it's just a game, dude. Don't like when people like highlight themselves as like kings of the game or something. <laughs> that looks funny. That looks childish. Oh, actually, Sisu has a lot of idle units all over the map. I'm already seeing this. This ones are fighting, but yeah, I'm sure there are some more. Oh, Goldline is going to take care of this Tartarian Gate, but that will result in him losing the front battle. He has this palace up, but that's not enough. Hmm, this is this looks pretty okay. Right now, SK having the upper hand, but that's mainly because uh, Goldline and Scuddy like Goldline is not losing at the moment, and Scuddy okay more went to um, Titan Age. So, oh, sorry, man. I, I missed misread it actually. I, I thought it's Titan Age. I, I, I looked over here instead of Thea, I thought it's Titan, but it's apparently not. He is just in the heroic age, and that's that's a bit that's not ideal, of course. A Zodiac really needs to start trade Ace up, man. I don't know what he's doing because with 40 CS and also he is doubled at the moment. Metallo is through Hephaestus as well. Oh, man. This game is pretty interesting, by the way. Mickey Titan. Right now, Mickey <laughs> does what I expected more to do, what I thought more did a moment ago. More really needs to fortify TC, which is getting good. Mickey needs it as well. This one, 145. Yeah, okay, good job. Does he have Sultan Fora? Yeah, he does. Okay, this war barges. Let's take him do. But Zodiac kind of gave away the advantage that he had double underworld passage on the Titan, man. This is one, and the second one is where? Oh, it's over here. Metallos underworld passage is over here. It's going to deal some good damage to Mike, and he just has base, base Myrmidons like uh, unupgraded Myrmidons. But this Titan gate, Ooh, let's see if he. Where is his, the end of this passage? The other end. I don't actually see it, but I think it's somewhere. Oh, okay. Oh no, this is the one of Metallo, but the one of... No idea where he cast it is. Um, it's the other end of the passage. Oh man, Scuddy has the upgrade for this 
state ships, so they're going to rape Zodiac's state ships. War barges. Um, more champion through Atlas and he's casting a vortex right now. It will kill the kill the underworld, I think. Yeah, with the help of the destroyers. But Mickey is getting his Titan up already. Oh man, but Goldline is also pushing the front of more. He's going to kill this. If he's clever, he'll kill this uh, underworld passage. Then he'll vortex them back. But so far, he has missed Micro and this and kind of attacking the Myrmidons with the destroyers. Come on, dude, you need to micro this. You really need to micro this. Zodiac just starting his trade. They can also, by the way, trade block them, like keep a couple of ships. More champion right now has four siege BRMs. And Mikkei also has a couple of siege BRMs, which will destroy Scotty's TC right now. Um, this TC is also in water range. This fire siphon is doing some good damage to it. But Scotty is also present on water, so it's not letting Sisu dominate on water totally. And we see Mikkei unleashing the titan pretty soon uh, oh man this this uh, underworld passage is not destroyed come on dude what did you do I, i'm sure he could destroy that if he if he microed it if he focused it down with these units he had some four or five destroyers in that Eka gigantus oh the titan uh, he doesn't have the upgrade though i hope Mickey gets the Mythic Rejuvenation upgrade. <laughs> Man, that's really that's really a good upgrade for mythic units, for mythical units and especially for the Titan. He's up to Hecate, doesn't he? Isn't he? Yeah, he is. Um Moore's so Zodiac's caravan's taking 222 gold, which is very good, but he is right now doubled. He is being doubled by Scotty from front and Metallo from back. And over here, Goldline is also pressuring more, and he is going to get his TC back soon. If he gets a couple of siege, yeah, siege units, which he does. Let's see what he does with the Titan, Mickey. Uh, he's going to kill this. All this, and then maybe advance to help. To help um, Zodiac on the front battle. Yes, Isu kind of threw this hard. I agree on that, Shelty. Mm. By the way, a good usage of Tartarian Gate. I will tell you a secret. I will tell you a secret. Uh, yeah, typical Zodiac without any upgrades. Uh, without trade. Throwing it away. I'll um, tell you a secret. You can cast the your... Tartarian gate very efficiently if you cast you can actually I'm sure you know that you could cast it on underworld passage, but I've seen players do that like on this on their end of the pass passage like over here if Mickey casted it over here It would destroy the passage then he would destroy the Tartarian gate of his own, but uh, He would delete it. I mean himself, but a really smart use of Tartarian gate can be if you use it on the other end of the on the other end of the uh, uh, underworld passage. Uh, I mean, usually it's placed kind of close. I mean, close to the base or inside the base. I don't see where it's uh, where this one is located right now, but I suppose it's kind of in the. I, I w I'm sure Metallo's one was somewhere close to his base, so you could actually kill two rabbits by a single shot if you cast the Tartarian Gate on the the underworld passage on their end I mean but of course in general in general in team games Helios is much more preferred much more preferred than uh, Hecate if you're Uranus or maybe the more preferable thing would be like here they went one Hecate one Atlas one Helios sorry um, so that so that also is pretty good idea very often but in this case I uh, uh, we, when they have double underworld passage I think double Helios would be much better 
Although this one, this this underworld passage is pretty much unused so far. But yeah, right now we see SK having a huge upper hand. Kinda Sisu kinda threw this. Yeah, I agree with Shelty. Uh, it looked so good. Zodiac had the upper hand, but right now he's losing it pretty hard. I'm, I'm sure SK has way my way my more resources. Yeah, you see, um, Scotty and Goldline and here Metallo. It's just Mikkei who is having close kind of. His resources are kind of close. The economy kind of close to SK, but otherwise. It's because of the trade, which is well established, it's because of the good macro from them. Uh, because we saw Zodiac not going for trade despite he was 40 season, that kind of... Uh, that kind of... He, he paid the price for that. He's not even in Mythic right now, and that's... The reason for that is kind of... Yeah. He's not even going. I see a ton of <laughs> upgrades. But 90% of them for SK, for Goldline, and for Metallo. Okay, we see this Vortex over here. Let's see if that does some damage to Metallo. That's actually doing some damage, but is it going to be enough? Uh, I don't know why no one gets these, the sh their ships on the... <laughs> inside this, like... Slots where you can catch the trade, catch the caravans, and kill them. Good micro by Metal, he killed a lot of a lot of those siege towers. The Titan is still alive and well, but he's fighting against this building spam, which is not what you usually want to do. Not the best use. <laughs> yeah, all players are AFK. The problem is they they uh, left. The, I mean they let SK advance to Mythic Age to boom hard. They had the upper hand. They had to push. They had to keep the pressure on them. But instead, like Zodiac, he lost the tempo in the in this push. He went 40 Cs, which was. Um, which was a wrong decision, I think, uh, without the proper economy, and as a result of it, he's suffering until now. He's not even in Mythic Age, so they kind of hurried a bit. They needed to establish themselves a bit more before the push. More still having medium destroyers against champion, or heavy fanatics and champion Arcos, Erkai, with all of the upgrades, armory upgrades, or all of them. Oh no, not. Uh, not iron weapons, but otherwise it's pretty much everything. Uh, we're still fighting against this building spam, man. Yeah, Zodiac is losing over here. I don't see how they can come back from this, honestly. I don't think. Um... Yeah, teach Mike to you how to use his Titan. I see him like go for Titan almost every game. He goes to Mythic and then Titan, but that's usually not a good idea, I think. I mean, in this case, I'm not talking about this case because in this case they were already behind when he went to Mythic and he kind of thought he might he might um, allow for a comeback for his teammates, but usually it's not a good idea because you get a huge, um, like, you go back in terms of your economy, you lo lose a lot of resources and then you have idle time on your villagers. Uh, if you are uh, having the upper end against your opponent, Titan is not always the, good, like, the best idea, the best thing you can do because uh, you're just losing the tempo, losing the dynamics. Goldline taking his 30C right now. Um, yeah, having everything so far. Oh, we see the third. Is this the third? 
Okay, Zodiac up from Mythic Gate. He was the third Vortex by more champion, but he isn't achieving anything. Zodiac on 1 TC, sitting on 1 TC. And the point difference is huge. It's like 2000 points at this point. I think it's over. Kinda over. I don't see how they can come back. It's Titan by goal line. Another Titan. Oh, actually, more. I think more destroyed goal lines. Oh, sorry, Scully's Titan with a Vortex. I think yeah, he did destroy it with the vortex. That's why we see his units over here. That's the reason. Um, but yeah, Metallo is going really hard on Zodiac right now. He's going to do thing, and right now, right here, Metallo is not giving. Uh, it's not um, letting them take the upper hand as well. So that's pretty much. Looks like GG. 2500 right now. In this case, advancing. Yeah, the resign is there by more. They kind of threw this. Yeah, too bad. But, anyways. GG. Let's take a look at the post game real fast. Yes, Scotty was definitely the MVP over here. He kind of helped on both sides. Cool landed pretty well. Um, he raided very well and defended at the same time. You see more losing a ton amount, huge amount of units. Same can be said for Zodiac, although Metallo is also not very good in that particular component. Um, yeah, in terms of the economy. Cuddy definitely uh, he had the best economy so far and Metallo catching up with him yeah 23 Prometheans by more man 